So I'm sure everyone's familiar with Dokkan Battle, Dragon Ball Z game, came out in 2015, mobile game. It's honestly gotten a lot more popular in the years as time has went on. 2015, I don't think it was entirely popular, but around 2020, 2021, and especially 2022 with the current 7th anniversary celebration going on right now, it's really picked up in popularity. So the purpose of this video is just basically to show you what the game used to be and what it currently is right now by going over two very basic things. So right now I'm just going to go to the summoner feature and go over to the feature over here so we're going to scroll all the way to the right to get like the base units that no one really cares about so we're going to use this cell as an example and just look at his super attack keep in mind right now what i'm playing was like the base in 2015 this is what the super attack used to look like in 2015 it has significantly changed since then so let's now go to the banner unit which is the goku and vegeta so let's just go to their LR, let's go to their 18 key, which by the way, LRs are a thing now, which they used to never be when it came to 2015. I believe the first ever LR that you can get was... I remember my first ever one was the LR Ginyu Force, but I think the first ever LR might have been the Goku, the tech one that goes Super Saiyan. Or it was the Int Piccolo, but I don't remember. But just look at this super attack animation compared to what we just saw in Cell. This is what happens when a game has a budget increase over 7 years. So to see this now compared to what it used to be is insane. Another thing that I want to do is explain power creeping. So power creeping is basically just when an, a unit is so old, as in one from maybe 2016 that potentially didn't get an easy A. An easy A is just basically them increasing their leader skill by a little bit and increasing their passive skill by a little bit so that way they could become much more useful in the current meta when it comes to the game. Now some characters don't have easy A's and some characters also don't have Dokkan Awakenings. Dokkan Awakening is just basically like a Goku, can become Super Saiyan Goku, the rank can go from like SR to SSR or SSR to TUR. So basically, if one of those doesn't apply, the character basically can't be used anymore. So what I'm going to do right now is go into the event that used to be the hardest in the game. Again, this used to be the hardest fight in the game back in 2015-2016. I remember playing it in 2016 because I remember specifically I was in like gym class. It was, I mean, I shouldn't have been on my phone in gym class, but you know, why not? I remember playing Dokkan and this Broly was just way too hard. As in, I couldn't beat it with like anything and I remember doing no damage to it it had like so much health because i think the, the other hardest thing that i did maybe once which wasn't really hard looking back was like the frieza which had like maybe two health bars but this broly just had so much health and i just wasn't able to do anything against it so right now we're gonna go up against it and just see how significantly different it is now compared to then so yeah i remember specifically too this broly has two turns before he can actually attack that's how much of a handicap they made this dude when when the event first released so what we're gonna do right now is just basically you know we could use anyone at this point but let's just use the goku and gohan put that over there and then fill up some more key over here so the attack stat that we're getting right now is a 3.9 keep in mind i haven't built these guys they're not rainbowed and their super attack isn't 20 out of 20 3.9 and it one-shots Broly. A 3.9 mil stat was unheard of back in 2015-2016. Unheard of. Alright, so that's what we did to the hardest fight in the game back in 2015-2016. So again, the game has significantly evolved as it should. You know, harder content as time progresses makes complete sense. That was the hardest fight back then. Now, what we're going to do is go to the hardest fight currently, which I have actually not done yet, which is Cell Max. Uh, I haven't done it because I know for a fact I can't win, but you know what? We're going to try anyway, because why not? And here we are with Cell Max. Again, look, I haven't even done it. It literally says new still. So let's click it. So I'm going to try. You know, I'm going to try. I remember I think you can only use Senzu. Yeah, you're only allowed to use Senzu. You got two little Senzus. So, this is my joined forces team, which I could use. I'm not using that Goku at all. So, I could get the HP and the damage reduction from them. 
I can get the HP with them and a chance to guard, because I know Selmax, I think you're okay to guard against him. Not guard, uh, evade. So, that'll be fine. This Goku can do really well. I don't know how well the Super Saiyan Force can do, but I really... Th this deck, actually, I I'd like to try. Obviously, I have an EZ8 cooler to be complete yet. This cooler, by the way, is a god. Like, it it's a mini version of this cooler. Honestly, they did such a good job with this cooler in terms of the fact that he'll be able to raise defense and stack on his 12 key at base. And then when he transforms, he stack and attack. So I think the way I have this deck now should be okay. Um, and by the way, this Janemba, I don't know why people don't like this Janemba. This Janemba is awesome. First of all, he raises defense on his super, which again is awesome. Let's look at the stats. Attack and defense was 120. Yeah, 120 isn't that much, you know, nowadays. Maybe we want like a 150, 160. I get it. But it's the fact he has that base, which at the time was really high. He guards all attacks, all right? Extreme class can get two key and attack and defense plus 30% with four or more type key spheres obtained. Now, I hear people saying, you know, it's really hard to do. At the same time, I'd rather feel much more like pride in myself the fact that i was able to get four key spheres in a strategy game and i was able to make it work and feel much more fulfilled while doing so i don't want a game where it's so easy to do everything i want to be challenged i want to make sure that i like when i hit something like a situational guard like i'm going to show this goku right now um which one the Namek Goku that people don't like because apparently, you know, he has situational guard, right? He has medium chance to guard right over here. Yeah, medium chance of guarding all attacks. I get it. That's low. I understand it. But when he does get that guard, he is busted and he is awesome. He raises defense, stacks defense. It's awesome. And you feel much more accomplished knowing that you got a situational guard compared to just permanent guard. I like situational because it makes me feel like I accomplished more instead of just being thrown, you know, stacking, greatly stacking attack and defense, having a damage reduction of 99% with a base attack stat of 25,000, base defense of 50,000, HP, you know, 99,000, uh, launches four additional attacks, each of which have a high chance of becoming a super attack, launches a fifth additional super attack after launching... 10 super attacks within a turn or whatever we don't need all that stuff yes i understand the game is evolving but at the same time these are fine characters you know i enjoy this janemba i think he's great he links well with this janemba he links well with this meta cooler he, not metal cooler <laughs> i'm thinking of the other metal cooler he links well with this final cooler like it works i think it's great so we're gonna tackle this we're gonna try it i'm gonna lose and you know what i'm okay with that so I know that for this character, at least, I want to try and build as much as I can with Cooler and with Frieza. Because Frieza can raise attack on his 12 key, but at the same time... Hmm. So this should be fine. Oh, and look at that, look at that, look, I didn't even try, and I'm already getting the four key spheres. Wow, that was so difficult to do, right? So difficult, and look, it made Frieza get his 18 key. So this cooler, obviously, is going to do a bunch of damage. Um, I'm pretty sure I did this horribly, just given the fact that, you know, I needed to make sure that I'm stacking. But um, this cooler probably will do a lot more damage than I'd like, but at the same time, he's at least buffing himself, which is good. Again, third one, and this is the front, this isn't even mine, so we're going to see how this goes. Again, fourth attack, really good. Fifth, so, you know, the whoever has this friend right now clearly put some additionals in the hidden potential system, so it's working really well. Okay, good, we at least are going to get one stack with Frieza on defense, which is good. And he guarded, uh, well, evaded. So now we're getting the Janemba, and Janemba's going to probably finish him off, which is fine. So I know the next phase is physical, and again, physical I know is going to be easy too, but once we get to that tech phase, you know, Garlic Jr. will be able to evade, which is great. Well, not evade, a guard in this case, but, you know, at the same time, it's going to be really tricky, so this is fine. That should be fine, and this cooler is giving a good amount of stat boost for transformation boost which are these two right now so that's awesome as well 
So we can just pull this one, you know, it's not that important, and just pull this one, it's not that important. And we're just going to see how this plays out. So I don't know how much damage Garlic's going to take, but we're about to find out now. Alright, so that's doable. I'm okay with that. And this one's mine, so obviously there's no dupes in it right now. So, you know, we're going to see how this goes. So knocked off a bar already, not too bad. I can't wait until we get to the tech fight, and it's just going to be an absolute onslaught. I'm going to be royally screwed. I've never done this before. It said new. I've never accessed this. This is the first time I've ever doing it. And I said, hey, it'd be a great idea to record. Again, with these group attacks, it's a lot. I get it. So in a rotation like this, I'd rather it be Garlic taking it now. Actually, Garlic's at a disadvantage right now. I just realized it's physical. So his defense isn't as bad as I thought. Yeah. In his case, his weakness is defense, given the fact that he doesn't have any type of stacking with it, and his passive doesn't give him the most, but he gives a big boost in terms of stats. I think it's key plus... I don't know if it's key plus 2 or key plus 3, and then attack and defense plus 40 for all extreme, so that's good. So this Janemba, I actually want to put in slot 2, so that way he can at least get more boosts. And then for this Frieza, that should just be fine. We'll increase his attack in this case. So yeah, 6 point, I forgot what that said, I don't know if it's at 6.3, but that's really high. Back in the day, this, you know, that is unheard of. So it's the fact that, again, he just had another one that was a crit, another one that was a crit. Oh, watch this one be another crit. Watch this attack be another crit. This is attack number 4, it's probably going to be a crit. No, not a crit, but it did finish him. So now this is the hardest phase in the game, and we have Janemba. So I'm going to test Janemba, right? So another ability that Janemba has that's really good is if he gets two rainbow key spheres, two or more, he reduces damage received by 30%. On the right side over here, without trying, there's two key spheres. So right now for a slot one unit who can guard, you know, he got that. So we're going to see what we can do with this cooler. No idea. And then this cooler is going to probably be hit hard. So 80, yeah, I mean, yeah, we're boned. I don't know how much he's going to be able to take. 449, see, he survived. And people think Janumba's bad. People think Janumba's bad. Imagine if I had played that smarter, what I could have done. He survived it. This cooler's not going to survive, but you know... Oh, I mean he might if he gets another one, because that's a 30% defense. Maybe. Mm, he, he's boosted enough to the point where he's not... I don't think he's fully built up. Yeah, no, we're done. Okay. But yeah, that he was Dokkan in terms of animations back in the day. That was Dokkan in terms of the hardest fight in the game back then and now. And that has how much Dokkan has evolved, you know? There's a couple things new that are going on in the shops right now. You could trade certain items, yada yada yada. You can get treasures, secret treasures, which again you can get from the chain battles. But yeah, the, the game has significantly changed and I am hopeful for what it continues to bring in the future. Super attack animations are awesome. The way it's been going on has been awesome. The anniversary right now for the 7th anniversary is awesome. So we'll just see what Dokkan brings in the future. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.